All right, well, hello there, everybody. Dane here, and today we've got a very exciting video because we did a little uh, DNA test for Biggie. I tell you what, swabbing his his cheeks not easy. You're like, you know, I'm glad I didn't lose a finger. I'm still all intact. But yeah, we managed to swab his cheeks. We used a company called Base Paws. Um, so we did a swab, send that off to the United States, and this morning we have had his results back. So in today's video. We're going to investigate Biggie's DNA and see what we can learn about it. So I'm mostly excited to see the breed analysis because I, I adopted him. Um, so I don't know what breed he is. I feel like he might be Maine Coon, but we're going to find out. So uh, I'm going to try and get some screen capture software going on here. Um, I've never used this software before, so we'll see how it goes. Dane reads. So we did a breed and health DNA test and a dental health test. I think we should go straight into the breed and health DNA test. So let's view report. So all I've, I, I opened it up to make sure that we did have something <laughs> and that it wasn't a dead link. I haven't read it yet. So, all right, the road to less wild. I can read all this stuff later. We don't need to know that. Okay, the chromosome map shows your cat's chromosome pairs with regions of genomic similarity to different breed groups shown in different colors. Mouse over a specific breed on the left and you'll see which chromosome regions in your cat are the closest match to this breed. And we can change the slider. So I mean, I guess it said possible here. So let's start. Western. Always a bit of everything, isn't he, look? So Western, 74.74%. Maine Coon is the biggest breed, which definitely doesn't surprise me. Norwegian Forest Cat, Siberian. And then just like some broadly Western. Got a little bit of Persian. Oh, he's come up to, to have a look as well. He's got some Egyptian Mao in him. Wow. There we go. Well, this is the possible. So we can actually go slide it back to the left for maybes. I don't really see what that's... Oh, it's added he might have some ragdoll, I think. So we're going to go with the confident. So he's confident. Biggs. Yeah, that's it. Nuzzle the camera. Come here. Come here. Come here. So it's com Biggie, 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 look. So it's confident that he's nine. <laughs> Are you gonna let me do this video? We're trying to look at your DNA here. So it's confident that he's 9.64% uh, Norwegian forest cat, 7.65% uh, Maine Coon. So you're a bit of both, you're a forest cat, aren't you? A bit Siberian, uh, what we got under likely? Again, so still looking, fucking hell, I'm having to lean around him. I do this a lot when my clients are here. He's standing right in front of the screen. Biggie, out the way. We're trying to look at your DNA. We're trying to look at your DNA, mate. The people want to know what you consist of. Well, the people don't. I do. All right, anyway, probable, blah, blah, blah. Yep. So the main coon goes up in percentage based on, like, um how unconfident it is. So it's very confident, or particularly confident that he's Norwegian forest cat, and then pretty confident he's, he's got some Maine Coon in him, and some Siberian actually as well, with a bit of Persian and exotic. That's very cool. Okay, we can look at the breed groups. Ooh, very cool. So, yeah, Maine Coon, yeah, he, looked, he does look a bit like a Maine Coon, and a Norwegian, I can see that. Yeah, that, I, oh biggie. I can see the the Siberian makes sense when you kind of look at his face as well. He's got a bit of that in it. So these exotic ones. Wow. Very cool. British. He doesn't look much. He hasn't got short hair. I've got to be honest. Cool. Okay, so the Wildcat Index. And they all share the same common ancestor from about 10.8 million years ago. Also, okay, so he's this compares him to four wildcats and, and says what he's most similar to. So he's most similar to a cheetah, which makes sense when he gets the zoomies. Bit cougar, bit leopard, bit of tiger. All right, health markers, how's he doing? Okay, good. So he's clear of polycystic kidney disease, clear of cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic clear of all of these so this is a nice uh, 
bit of relief. I mean, if he doesn't, if he does show up as being at risk of any of these, it doesn't necessarily mean he'll get it. It just means it's something that you can keep an eye out for. Hey, Biggie, you got a clean bill of health there, mate. Oh, so this just tells you a bit more about the various breeds. He's 0% Russian blue, so he's quite a lot of Norwegian forest cat. The mystic wild cat of the fairy tale. Yeah, an insulated waterproof double coat. Yeah, he is very fluffy. Large almond shaped eyes, triangle shaped head. Yeah, while they highly appreciate the company of their favorite humans, they do so on their own terms. They have strong claws, yeah. Sounds about right. So it's quite Siberian. These are bigger cats by the looks of, oh, well, maybe. I can't, I'm trying to remember how heavy he is. He's like seven kilo, hey Google. How heavy is seven kilograms in pounds? Seven kilograms is equivalent to 15.432 pounds. Yeah, so he's on the heavy side for both of these. There are claims that these cats can sense when someone is in need of moral support and will provide company to the respective person. Well, Biggie definitely does that for me, don't you, Biggs? Come over when daddy's anxious and you're back in the way again. You're sitting right in front of the screen. Shift out of the way, mister. The only way to get him out of the way is to bribe him. We're dreamies, isn't it, Biggs? I'm gonna bribe you. All right, how about here? Put one on Daddy's leg. Well, you dropped it. Look, you dropped. Come on. Come on. What's that? Annoyingly, he doesn't want any treats, do you? Because you just had your advent calendar. All right, we're gonna try and read around you. Uh, American short hair. You're like five percent of that. I'll read through all of this in my own time, anyway. Okay, Maine Coon. See, you're much closer, you're about the average male weight for a Maine Coon, buddy. And you're related, related breeds Norwegian Forest Cat, does make sense. Said to be one of the largest and heaviest cat breeds. The breed is very muscular, agile, and heavily boned, sporting a thick, uneven, double-layered coat and a bushy tail. Yeah, your bog brush tail. They also have the longest whiskers of any other cat breed. One of the few water-loving cats, well that's not him, he hates water. Gentle giant, uh, playful, independent dog-like nature. I do often say he's like a dog. Pretty vocal, yeah, he's very vocal. Quite obedient and possess an above average intelligence making them easy to train. It's not uncommon to see cats of this breed being walked on leashes. Yeah, we do sometimes go for a little leashy walk. All right, what else we got? These are all like zero percent. He's got a bit of British short hair. They're fairly large, solid cats with chunky bodies, strong legs, broad heads, and large piercing eyes. Yeah, that is, that is biggie. <laughs> they don't make particularly good lap cats and do not appreciate being picked up or carried around. He'll come and sort of sit next to me, but he doesn't particularly like being picked up. He doesn't he doesn't sit on me, you know. And a little bit Egyptian Mao. Very cool. Okay, so now let's have a quick cheeky look at his dental health test. Failed to load PDF document. Well that's a bit of shit, isn't it? I'm trying to do a video here, mate. Alright, dental health report. His dental health summary. Okay, risk for periodontal disease. Oh, he's at high risk. That's not good. Uh, low risk for tooth resorption, though. And he's, to be fair, with his periodontal disease, he's not like super high risk, but he is high risk. And then medium risk for bad breath. Yeah, you hear that, Biggs? So we should adopt a daily dental care routine. So what else? He also eats wheat. I imagine that's just bulking out his food, isn't it? Oh, it does say periodontal disease affects up to 80% of the adult feline population. So we've got to look up cat teeth routines. Biggie, we've got to clean your teeth. You're going to love that. I don't even know where he's gone. Okay, very cool, very interesting. Um, so yeah, that is uh, the results of the base pause DNA test that I did. Uh, what's this referral program here? I guess this will give me a link, I can link to if you want to do this. It's pretty expensive, it was about $1900, something like that. Um, but I've always wanted to do one of these because I've always been curious about his breed. Um, and it's just worth knowing, I mean it's nice to have that peace of mind that all of his uh, health markers um, we're looking pretty good wherever they were. They were all up here, weren't they? No, that's the dental health one. Anyway, yeah. Here we go. Give you $20 off your first cat DNA test and I'll get $20 back. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Here's a link. Talkable.com forward slash X forward slash HRD6LG. Uh, I'll pop that in the um, post description in case you want to do this for your feline friend. But yeah, I think that was very cool. It's um, I'm really, 
really really pleased I got that done and as I say so it's particularly good the breed stuff's really cool and it's just a lot of, you know a lot of peace of mind to know that he's clear of all of these health risks or uh, the health markers I mean obviously it doesn't mean he'll, he'll never get for example cystinuria um, but it does mean he's less likely to get it and he's got like less um, you know um, whatever um, what's the what's the word like DNA risk or whatever uh, genetic risk that's the one so uh, yeah I might actually do one of these for myself as well because you can do a human one so that would be interesting to do um, my um, my uh, my grandparents my, my granddad on my mum's side and I think my mum as well have both had it done so I'll just be curious to see what it, what it shows up with but anyway as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts on this I suppose hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video but that has a bit of cat in it bye bye